We gathered here in uh, Geneva, front of United Nations, from around the world, from Canada, from US, from Germany, France, uh, Switzerland, from Indonesia, from Malaysia, uh, to uh, protest the Chinese uh, war on Islam in Turkestan, Chinese uh, genocide against the Uyghurs and the Kazakhs and other Turkic people in my country. Uh, we are today remembering the 5th July massacre, which happened 2009, in the capital city, Urumqi. Uh, that's the, the beginning of the current genocide. Uh, at that time, uh, uh, Chinese government killed uh, hundreds of the people and uh, manipulated the situation, turned it, it like a, the, the clash between Han Chinese and Uyghurs. It was not. It was uh, uh, the peaceful demonstration at that time against Chinese uh, transfer the Uyghurs as a slave labor in their China. So after that, uh, Chinese Communist government uh, began their uh, massive crackdown. Uh, Xi Jinping's uh, war on terror became Xi Jinping's war on Uyghur. Xi Jinping declared his uh, war on Uyghurs 2014 in Kashgar city. And the end result is millions of millions of people uh, right now in concentration camps. And then uh, uh, hundreds and the hundreds uh, Uyghurs were transported in inner China in prisons. Many children separated from their families, and the girls uh, were forced are forced to marry Han Chinese. And the uh, Uyghur women faced uh, rape, group rape, torture, and the Chinese uh, government uh, burned the Quran. And as a state, it's not individual, you know, as a state, the Chinese Communist Party burned the Quran and they destroyed the mosques and they banned the Uyghur language since September 2017. Washington to Geneva for protesting against the uh, China's UPR adaptation, which they uh, rejected the recommendations um, of the uh, human rights uh, organizations and as well as uh, so many uh, countries providing enough evidence and the, the crimes that they are conducting against Uyghur people. So yesterday, there were 16 countries spoke, but only two countries, United, uh, United States and United Kingdom, uh, spoke the truth about what's going on today against the Uyghurs and the Tibetans and the uh, other uh, ethnicities that are facing uh, brutal oppression by the Chinese government. But 16 countries swayed in to China's manipulations and disinformation as well as they played uh, appeasement policies. So we are here to protest as well as today is the 15 years anniversary of the 2009 July 5th Grimji massacre where the Chinese government killed the innocent peaceful protesters, they were protesting against the unjust treatment and oppression against the Uyghur people. But that day, just like what the CCP did in Beijing 35 years ago on the June 4th in Tiananmen Square massacre, 
they have done the same sort of brutality and they massacred hundreds of innocent Uyghurs. And after that, they shut down the internet and the communications to the region for more than six months while they're arresting, disappearing thousands of Uyghur youths. Human Rights Watch uh, documented and released a report said around 40,000 Uyghurs disappeared. Still, yet today, the Chinese government has not answered. And we have not seen the international communities holding the Chinese government accountable. I'm here today um, at the uh, Place des Nations in front of the UN to commemorate the 15th year anniversary since the Urumqi massacre. The Urumqi massacre started on July 5, 2009, when thousands of Uyghur students, mostly youth, took up the streets of Urumqi to protest against the Chinese government's oppressive regime, and also for neglecting the death of two Uyghur workers in um, a Chinese province a few days earlier. So today we commemorate the victims who disappeared, who died, who were arrested during that summer. A summer where I was actually in Urumqi and witnessed some of those atrocities. China terrorists! China terrorists! China terrorists!